Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. Caesar Milan, ladies and gentlemen. This man, Thank you. you have saved a lot of households. How many times have you feel like you, you may have saved a marriage because you helped them with a pet? Well, a lot of times, you know, people don't um, have an agreement, and, and so how to raise a dog, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, the husband will say something, the wife will do something else, so that actually creates this connection among, among the uh, uh, wife and, and husband. So I just help them to create an agreement first, right? An agreement, like a written agreement? No, well, sometimes they write an agreement to see, you know, because sometimes the wife wants the do- wants the husband to walk the dog, but the guy doesn't walk the dog because he's too tired. Yeah. So you have to agree and you have to write it down because he promised. Oh. Uh, you know, yes. Okay, yeah. So, okay. You know, guys, we have an advantage. You know, we have an advantage of our testosterone. So dogs do behave different to us. Mm-hmm. Women, uh, women uh, are more likely to be more excited when they see a dog. So the dog actually became more, more excited. You know, it, yeah. it has tendency to control the relationship mm-hmm. between uh, dog and women. Eighty percent of my clients are women. Ah, yeah, because women don't know how to take care of dogs. No, they do. They, they do. They oh, do. Okay. They do. They do. They do. They just begin with an emotional relationship. And you mentioned earlier, you know, the wild side, the instinctual side. They don't follow lovable pack leaders. Yeah. They follow assertive pack leaders. So yeah. the guy is more likely to say, you know, yo, whose dog is this? You see, and, and that creates a different relationship. Mm. The dog calms down. You know, guys are more likely to tell the dog sit down, and a, and a, and a girl is more likely to ask for a hug first. Yeah, yeah. You know, from a dog. Heather, I mean, you got a dog. I do. And the last time you were here, Caesar, you gave me some excellent advice because my dog Lucky is very jumpy and excited. Mm-hmm. She doesn't bite, but you you pinned it on the head. You said my dog doesn't go out enough, and I don't walk the dog. Right. I let it out in the yard. Um, I started walking her maybe once a month now, which is not a lot, but I, I, I haven't committed fully. Her new once thing. Once a month? Well, Sway, give me time. Um, give me but the new thing now is she chews up all her dog beds. Yeah. Um, like, I spent all this money buying big dog beds, yeah. and she just chews them down to no- what? Where is that coming from? More excitement? No, it's not more excitement. It's, it's this frustration from the layers of energy, right? So the dog needs to release that energy somewhere. Look, if a dog can smoke, it will be a lot of dogs smoking in America. It's just they don't have nothing to do. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! So so their their way of releasing energy is barking, digging, chewing, chewing. destroying. It's, they're just trying to get energy out. Yeah, you know, even when you they- see it as a destructive, yeah. the dog sees it as coping. She wants to go out once a month. Is well, not enough. It, a tired I mean, dog will never destroy nothing. I mean, once a, a frustrated month. dog, yes. But, but, but Caesar, why are you just talking over like this? Once a month isn't insane that she t- she doesn't take her dog out, but once I know, a month. But you gotta get a chance to girls, right? And, your your you know, dog is in time. prison. Pretty much a pretty prison. Yeah, <laughs> pretty that's prison. all it is. Mike. And by the way, it, the the, uh, the show is in Nat Geo Wild. Because it's not Geo and not Geo Wild. Wild. Okay, yeah. not Geo Wild, yeah. 9 p.m. Fridays. Yeah. Mike, what's your question for Caesar? Uh, hey, how y'all doing? How you doing? Uh, Good morning. I was, I was trying to see if it's like a, a program or like a, a, a book that I could read up on just to like train my dog to like protect my daughter at all times or something like that. You know, the protection, it comes from loyalty. It, it doesn't come from teaching a dog to bite. Mm-hmm. You know, because a lot of times people force a dog to be aggressive and the dog is being forced to do it. So it's actually a, a ticking bomb because it can bite anybody. You yeah. know, somebody does that. Watch. If somebody does that work, he just goes after everybody. You want a dog that naturally protects. So how do you achieve that? Mm-hmm. Right. You do exercise. You give rules, minus limitations. And, and th- then the dog says, well, you take care of me. I'm going to take care of you. You don't have to teach a dog to protect your house mm-hmm. or yourself. What you have to do is fulfill his needs. Because he uh, will fulfill your needs. It's, it's just part of being a pack. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. you see you know, yeah. You know. We got um, Jana is here. Go get, grab that mic over there next to Heather B. Jana. Or maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You sit right here, right here. Take, take this mic right here. Jana has a dog. What's your dog? Dog is with us, Caesar. You see the little yeah. dog? Yeah, little I have one. I have one. His you have a Yorkie too? Yeah, your, his name is Alfie. What's yeah. your Yorkie's name? Sophie. So does is it a rule that every Yorkie has to have a fee at the end of the name? Alfie. <laughs> Sophie. Okay. What no what your dog is uh a female. What does she need work on? Okay, so I recently got another dog. I got a pit bull. And she tends to snap at him. She yeah. shows her teeth a lot. Yeah. She doesn't like when he's next to her. Mm-hmm. And I don't know I don't know what to do. You know what, Caesar, before you give her the answer to that question. We're going to also open up the lines for more questions. 888-742-3345. Jana was one of our interns, brought her Yorkie to work. Who, who It's not even trained, right? And so the question was, you, she had a new dog. Yeah, a pit bull. Pit bull. Awesome. A male pit bull? Yes. 
Awesome. And the little bitty Yorkie is constantly attacking the pit bull. No. The okay. thing is the pit bull wants to meet the Yorkie, right? Okay. And the Yorkie owns the house already. So yeah. this is a perfect scenario how we can learn from a dog. Okay. So not because you just adopted a dog, the Yorkie is going to say, yeah, oh, welcome home. The oh. Yorkie is going to say, no, no, these are the rules. These are the boundaries. Mm -hmm. These are the limitations. So what you have to do is make sure she exercises the pit because you don't want to do the introduction with an excited yeah. larger breed. You know, they can hurt them fairly easy. But a tired dog, meeting a little dog, will actually make him more respectful. So what, what she's doing right now is absolutely normal. Okay. Which asking the new dog to give respect. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's all it is. It's all about respect. First days, I got to respect you. Yeah. Most people break that rule. They want the dog to be on them. They want they don't give rules, boundaries, limitations. Yeah. Especially when they rescue a dog, they just open the door. This is your new house. But if you do it that way, the dog end up controlling the house, uh -huh. owning the house, claiming the house, uh -huh. and become overprotected. That's a dangerous dog. That's a dang is that your dog making those noises? Yes, I Would think. You put the mic to your dog. I think somebody's um over here teasing her. Go ahead. <laughs> With food. I mean, let's hear her talk. What's that? What's that? Oh. What's that? What's that? What's that? She did okay. it. Okay, she, she kissed her. Yeah. She kissed her. Now, what do you, what is your rule about pet owners who tongue kiss their dogs? Which is, <laughs> is that something you recommend or? <laughs> I don't, she, I don't practice that. You don't do that, right? <laughs> no. But but Jana was they constantly licking each other's butt and yeah, stuff. That's what we're telling you, Jana. My oh. dogs do not like. Don't even get close enough to a dog. To do that. That's right. So okay. they don't even. Yeah. Okay. Put your dog on the counter, and, and tell your dog to sit. Sophie, sit. Oh, she did it. <laughs> Yeah, they, they have a good relationship, you know. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. she's in control of the relationship. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Go. She laid back. And she that's chill. Right. She could chill out right there. Okay, I'm going to take some calls. She's gorgeous, Sophie. So did you get the Thank information? You, you got to tire your dog out to pit a little bit? To yes. And it's normal. Thing. It's normal. Yes. Yeah, the pity wants to come and meet, but she because she controls. I thought so, because it seems like she always tells him, back away, back right. away, and he doesn't take her seriously. That's right. Well, it's, he has so much energy, so if you want to accelerate... The process of uh, taking it serious without causing any problem, mm -hmm. big dog versus little dog, is keep him tired so he actually listens quicker. Because when, when they're too excited, they can't listen. Right. Yeah. Okay. They actually take that as a game. Now, this is a little bitty dog. What does it weigh? Five pounds at the yes. most? And then how, how big is your pit? He is 82 pounds. Jeez, that's a and big kid. He's 11 months old. 11 months. Oh, so, my Lord, that's a big one. So, Caesar, how can we keep that big pit from breaking and entering right, this right. little Yorkie? Like, he's going <laughs> he's, he's to try to smash that out eventually, right? <laughs> right? So, what, what can she do? Keep him tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got uh, KC on the line. KC is in Arizona. KC, good morning. How you doing? Say hello to Caesar Milan. Hey, good morning, everybody. Caesar, how you doing? Heather B. Hey. Way. What up, man? What's up? Not much. Hey, I don't have a question as much as I do a thank you. Um, I got a pit bull about four or five years ago. I bought your uh, puppy training book, and, man, that thing is just filled with so many good tips. And, you know, it, it really helps train my dog so much now. You know, he, he walks my little brother to the bus stop, knows his schedule, and he'll go back to the bus stop and pick him up at 3 in the afternoon. That's what I'm talking and, about. You know, it's all because of your training book, man. And wow, that's I, great. You know, I appreciate everything you do. Well, I appreciate that you actually read the book and follow through. There it is. We got um, Ben on the line from Wisconsin. Say what up to Ben. Hey, Ben. Big Ben. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, I'm road tripping to go get a new car. So this one has XM in it. I can't believe that I'm talking to Sway. You're awesome. But, like, Caesar, you are one of my heroes. <laughs> I you. own your book. Uh be the pack leader you know i'm a little bit nervous right now um i'm calling because we have two dogs i run them every day three miles and we go through the park and there's always dogs off leash that run up on us yeah and that is a that is a problem so far nothing has happened because you know i remain calm and assertive and i check those dogs but it's you know it's never like a little dog that runs up it's always big mm -hmm. scary kind of dogs and mm -hmm. my dogs get a little bit what they do is they'll sit and they'll go right behind me and just be poised. That's but awesome. That's awesome. That's great. I, I worry about You are a pack leader. You are a pack leader. What, what do you worry about? You're doing everything right. Well, the other the other thing I would like to, I can't believe I'm talking to you, man. I You changed my life, and thank you. Um, the one dog, life. she's a Border Collie Blue Tick mix. So she's, she's real high energy, and she's always on patrol in the backyard. Mm. And how do I tone that down where I can get her to just... 
and just let it go, relax. Do you, uh, you by any chance, you're close by, uh, like, uh, somebody that has sheep, that you can do a little bit of sheep herding, or, <laughs> or you can no, do a little bit of treadmill, or you can put a backpack on it, you know, you can do uh, we, we agility. We just a backpack, and that's why... You know, running with a backpack, you think that's a good plan? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're tiring them up a little bit more. Obviously, uh, she has a little extra energy. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, we hey, get hey, all the runs. Hey, hey Ben. Hey, Ben. Ben. <laughs> okay, man. You got your fill of Caesar, man. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks, man. You're, you're back. back. You're listening to Sway in the morning on Shea 45.